my name is Ian. I have uh, I work on the operations team for the Filecoin project, which you can think of loosely as everything that's not core protocol engineering or research. Um, so there's a whole mess of stuff that runs through the team. Um, among them is something that I've been really lucky to have the chance to work on. Um, although a couple of my colleagues have done the bulk of the work, presenting it has fallen on me. Um, it's a program that we announced yesterday called Filecoin Discover. So to understand the underlying goals of Filecoin Discover, you have to zoom out a little bit to the goals of Filecoin. So the purpose of Filecoin fundamentally is to create a decentralized, efficient, and reliable foundation for all of humanity's information. And there is just a ton of information that we think it's incredibly valuable to ensure is accessible uh, reliably everywhere over the world um, and cheaply. So here's some examples of the types of data sets that we think about. Um, there's a link at the bottom of the page um, where you can go to look at the full set of data sets that we're thinking about supporting early on. Um, so we, we came into this project with this goal where we're building this network file coin. We wanna make sure that it does in fact serve as a repository for important information. How can we bootstrap, or bootstrap that process? How can we create a model for what it looks like to get certain types of important data on Filecoin? work out the kinks when it comes to actually ingesting and processing and distributing that data, and then push that model out into the world for other people to use and push that data out into the world for other people to access. Um, the naive solution to this is like, hey, you sort of get the data and you keep it on a hard drive and then you ship it out over the internet and then people replicate it all over the world. It turns out that that might work for, you know, individual videos or smaller files, but when you start thinking about trying to solve this problem at massive scale, it gets a lot more complicated. So we set this initial target of launching the system at multi-petabyte scale so that we could feel like we were supporting, you know, an adequate diversity of data sets and replicating them enough. We started doing some napkin math and we realized that shipping this amount of data in this sort of naive way would take 25 years or longer under sort of like fully saturated, reasonably fast internet connections. And so we had to start getting creative. Uh, so we launched this program again to seed this process to serve as one of amongst hopefully many sources on Filecoin of providing these data sets. Concretely, what does that look like? So we assemble these big open source data sets and sort of how we picked the initial sets is a, a totally separate but interesting discussion. And then rather than trying to ship them over the internet, we have this process put in place where we actually preload the data onto hard drives. Um, so it turns out that you can get, you know, many, many orders of magnitude faster bandwidth, although obviously the latency is quite high. If you put data onto hard drives and then physically ship them around the world rather than trying to send it over tubes. Um, the end goal of the situation is that we have this data loaded onto hard drives and then there's a system in place by which folks who want to serve as storage providers on Filecoin can order the hard drives. We ship them to them and we get to this end state on the right where this important data is replicated and highly available across many different regions all around the world. So a five minute lightning talk is not a very long period of time to talk about all of the uh, interesting challenges that you run into through this process. You, this is the high level architecture diagram on the right that gives you a sense of the complexity here, but you have to address some really interesting questions. What data should we store? How do we get it? How do we replicate it? How do we actually ingest it into Filecoin? Um, when you start trying to think about how to pull down multi-terabyte or petabyte data sets and make them actually interactable in an interesting way, you run into some interesting problems. How do we physically deliver the data to miners? How do you let miners redeem these storage deals so that they're actually being supported to store these important data sets? And then how do we make the data available to users so that it's not just an art project, but it's actually putting important data out into the world? in a way that you know, can advance scientific inquiry, can help preserve cultural data that people can use. So the program launched 27 hours ago, um, and we had optimistically ordered an initial batch of 408 terabyte hard drives that we were hoping you know, we would ideally make our way through. Um, just about a day later, we have received pre-orders for 650 hard drives, or more than five petabytes of data. So this is, a smashing success from our perspective. We're super psyched about the opportunity to get these data sets out of the world um, and preserve them at huge scale. Um, and there's gonna be a, a ton more to come. We're really optimistic. If you wanna learn more about this, here's a few links for you. Uh, there's the main blog post that launches Discover. You can just search for the Filecoin blog to see that. Um, there's a store which is linked from the blog post. 
And then if you're interested in learning more about mining, uh, there's the Filecoin docs site linked here, uh, as well as the main Filecoin page. Thanks.